all about color theory. Color is the most exciting design element. Color has three distinct properties, hue, value, and saturation. To understand color, you must understand how these three properties relate to each other. Hue. The traditional color name of a specific wavelength of light is a hue. Another description is spectral color. All of the colors of the spectrum are hues. These are only limited hue names. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Magenta and cyan are also hues. Saturation. Saturation is concerned with the intensity or the brightness and dullness of color. A saturated color is high in intensity. It is bright. A color that is dull is unsaturated or low in intensity. Another term for saturation is chroma. A color without any brightness, no hue, is achromatic, black or white, or gray. Value. Value is concerned with the light and dark properties of color. All colors exhibit these properties. The hues have a natural value where they look the purest. Some colors like yellow are naturally light. Some like violet are darker. All hues can be made in all values. Adding white paint will make any pigment lighter. Adding black paint will make most pigments darker, but will cause yellow paint to shift in hue to green. To understand more about hue, saturation, and value, let's take a look in Photoshop. Open Photoshop, and from there select this, the foreground color from the toolbar. Click it. So the color picker window will be open. There you see there are different colors from red to blue, to cyan, to green, to yellow, and to orange. And you can also check out the color libraries. There are thousands of colors. Any of these colors you can select from here. There are various default color palettes that come with Photoshop. So click the picker again. So we will see our color picker window. So let's examine closer saturation, value, and hue. Hue is the actually pure color and saturation is here. The H for hue, S for saturation, and B for brightness. And RGB is for red, green, and blue. So here's what we have. Let's bring the slider to here. And this circle inside the, inside the color box would be in this corner. So you see the hue value is 344. Saturation value is 100. The brightness is also 100. So let's see how this works. Now our slider is in the corner. Hue 34, saturation 100, 100, okay. Now let's change the saturation value to 50. See, here is the color at 100% saturation. This is with the current values. And now I'll change this one to 50. Now you see the color it becomes with a value of 50. Saturation of this hue. Then slider moves to here, and you see we have a light. Light red color. Now if I reduce the brightness to 50%, let's type 50, and you see this slider moves down and the color is darker. It reduces the value. So it moves here, and if I change the brightness to zero, then see the slider moves down here, and it's totally black. Even though our hue value is 344 and saturation is 50. But if value is zero, that means it will be totally black. Let's change the brightness back to 100. 
And let's make the saturation zero. Now see what happened. The hue is still the same 344. But the saturation is zero. And the brightness is 100. But it becomes this round slider moves here in the corner. And the color becomes totally white. You see in the hex code is FFFFFF. If we increase the saturation to 10%, the slider moves, and we have a very subtle red color. We change this to 30%, and the slider moves up more. We have a more reddish color now. And if I make it 70%, saturation it increases the color to more red. And let's the brightness back to 50%. See, the slider moves here, showing we have a darker red color. So this is how the hue, value, and saturation all work together. To change the color, to make a color scheme, and to make a new color.